Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video here we have formatting in Python. In this video here we will talk about four types of formatting. The first type will be formatting using percent. Second one will be formatting using format. And the third one will be formatting using fstring. The last one will be formatting using template. So let's dive to the real world and see some examples. So we start here with formatting using percent. We write here first print two parentheses and two quotes and we write here the bird and we have our first percent like that and we have s here that means we will write string and we have here on the tree on the tree like that and we continue we write here and the cat percent s as well that mean as well like we have string underneath the tree so i will write here person sign and after that i will have two parentheses here because i have multiple strings here so only i have one i don't need this parentheses but because i have two that's why i have this parentheses here and here as well, I will have two quotes and I will write singing and I will make comma here, two quotes as well and I will write mewing like that. And now I will hit run and see here the bird singing on the tree and the cat mewing underneath the tree. That's how to use percent formatting for strings. So let's see another example. In this example here, we will use like the percent sign for whole number or for integer. So we can write here i have and we write here percent and d that's mean we have whole number here and i write here cars and like that and after that i make like a person sign again and i will write like two cars and now i hit run and i got here i have two cars so let's see now how to have like floating point here and now if we have like person sign and f and now i hit run so i got here i have 2.5 zeros or six zeros here is cars so i got now floating point here so how to control this floating point so let's see how to control how many digits after the floating point so what we can do here we make two number the first number it will give you how many digits you want in your number so if i write here 2.2 .2. so i want the minimum amount of digit will be 2 and after the floating point it will be only 2 floating point now i hit run so i got here 2.2 zeros so here i have like the minimum amount of digits 2 i have 3 here it's like over the minimum is that's good and i have 2 floating point after here but if I write here, for example, I want to have like five, five the minimum amount of digits here and I hit run. So I got here space, two space and five digits. So if you don't have enough number, minimum amount of number, so it will like uh, take space instead of the digits. So if I make here, let's make it here 2.55555 to be more clear. And I hit run again. So I got here, I have 2.56 cars. If I change this number to number five, like that, and now I hit run. So you can see here, we have removed the space between the digits, and now I got like 2.5556 cars. So that's how to like use the, the floating point here. But if you don't have like the time to see how many digits you want, and you want like as compact as possible, just make person sign, and G and now when you hit run so you got more compact number you got here 2.5556 cars so here is a way like to make it more compact to round the number and when you put G here you will get like reasonable numbers it will not be like a lot of numbers after the floating point like right? just round it around and you get like more compact and good number so that was all about formatting using percent sign for this uh, video here so let's move on to talk about our second type. It will be formatting using format parentheses. So let's start with one example. Let's move this one here. 
but right now and instead we having like this person sign let's make it curly brackets like that and we remove the g here and instead of this uh, person signed we write here point format for mat and we have now two parentheses here and I will make two parentheses here inside I will make string I will not make uh, number I will write red so here I will hit print so I got here I have red cars but I can do as well I make here a variable inside it I will call it a and I can make a is equal to red and now I hit run so I have red car I can do it again here two curly brackets I can have like multiple uh, variable the same variable as well like a and here curly bracket again like that and now when I hit run so here the same variable I have it like multiple times is sometimes really handy to avoid like uh, repetition to repeat yourself again and again and the same as we saw like with the person sign here we can have like as well floating point when I have the floating point I can make here two curly brackets like that and the first one it will be zero and we have two colon and I will write 3.3f and the same here I will make it zero two colon 3.3f and let's let's avoid this one here make without it it's not the only one and now if I make here number with like make it 5.5555 and I hit run so you got here I have 5.556 so I got only three digits after the floating point and in total I got like three or I got like more than three digits in my number here and you can put D you can put whatever you want inside this format so that was all about this format here. So let's move on to talk about our next format, F string format. So this type of format is very easy to use. Let's write here one variable. Let's call it a equal to, and let's make a number here, 5.67, like that. And now we make here print, and we make F string, like that. And inside it we write, we have this lucky, number and do it like that and we write here two curly brackets like that and we write here the variable a and now when we hit run so we got here we have this lucky number 5.67 let's make it a little bit like with the space and now we hit run again so we got here we have this lucky number 5.67 it's really easy to use like this is the most easiest one here so let's go to the, our last one formatting using templates so let's go to our last formatting here this one's a little bit special we should import something we write here from string import template and now we write here our first variable a1 and let's make it here hello we make it like string here hello and our second variable here we make it two and let's make it word so together it will be hello word and here we write our third variable we make it like that here and we have we should here import the template we write here template and we have here two parentheses inside these two parentheses we have the dollar sign that's how we call the variable and here we write a3 and dollar sign again a4 and we have here this one like that and now we have print and we call here l point substitute this one here and we have two parentheses as well and we have here a3 equal to a1 and we write here comma a4 equal to a2 and now when I hit print, I will get here, let's see, yes, we got here something wrong. This one should be string, like this one here, like that. And now we hit run. 
so we got here hello world we got it right right now so that was all in this video here about formatting thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye for now